Happy New Year 2024 everyone! I hope you had a very nice end of December and a very happy 2023 year and I wanted to end up this year by doing a video about how can you set goals for 2024 and how to actually achieve them and know exactly what to do starting from the 1st of January 2024 in order to make the most of your year and to not just let those goals on the side that you would have written by the end of December and just never touch them again. So I'm gonna give you five easy steps on how can you set those goals and how can you achieve them and on the side I'm also going to show you some notion templates that I did for you to be able to follow throughout this video or after this video to take those five steps and those notion templates are available totally for free just in the link down below so I hope you're gonna like it and let's start directly with the first step the first step which is maybe gonna appeal to you if you're like me you have a hundred things you want to do different stuff different creative stuff, stuff from your work, academic or whatever and you don't know where to start from, the first step is just be a dreamer. Write every single thing you want to achieve in your life, so that could be a lifelong goal, whatever matters to you. If you want to be fluent in five different languages, just write them. If you want to create your YouTube channel, write it. If you know that one day you want to write your own book, write it there. Write every single thing you know you want to achieve. Of course there are some goals which are going to be easier to achieve depending on if that only depends on you or on other people but let's say for this moment here it's just all the dreams you have all the little things you want to do if that is to be super healthy or to be ready for a marathon or to actually be able to create your own series or whatever just write it and you're just gonna make the list of every single thing you know or that crossed your mind that actually one day you want to be able to do so you're just gonna make this list for a lifelong goal and that's the first step the second step which can already be a tiny bit harder it's classify them so you're gonna classify them in different categories so for example if it's depending to your work I know for example that I love languages so languages is going to be a section on the side creation music whatever and just so you will have an idea of how can you set your goals in different aspects it could be about health if you put that you want to hit super healthy or do a lot of sport you can put that in the same category or if you want to write a book and create your own idea I don't know brand or whatever you can put that in another category and you're just gonna classify them with those little tags that you can have on notion because it's super easy to just create those tags and then just put them in categories it's already gonna give you a bit an overview and just to sort them a bit and the second category is a bit harder than the first one which was just classify them by what they are actually but it is going to be how important this goal is for you is it like a goal that you want to achieve you know that it's a very big dream you have have and you really want to achieve it you're gonna put that with a high importance tag if you know it's something great but that's not actually what now appeals you the most but you know it's there you kind of want to do it but just maybe not in the first step you can put them in for example the middle importance and then if there's some stuff that you know like that could be great but that's actually not what I'm the most appealed by or that I'm you really keen on you can just put that in the low importance doesn't mean that's not you're never gonna do it any time in your life it just means that for the moment you put this in this category and you're gonna come back to that later so once you've done that you should have all your lifelong goals and then they would be classified with their tags about what they are about and then how important they are and I know it can be super hard to really classify them in those three categories of importance middle or low it really depends on you you can create more categories also on the template if that sounds better to you it's really up to you but it's really important to give you an idea and to sort that not to be just with a list of like 20 things you want to achieve and be and be like you don't even know where to start. A property that is super easy to use on Notion is that you can actually put the lines above each other so I'm just going to show you also on the side so you can already try to sort them with your little tag from the highest importance to the low importance so you really have the things that are the most important to you at the very top of the list because the third step is going to be actually try to find out what are going to be your main focuses of the year if you know that one day you want to create your brand but that's not really what you want to do now because I don't know you're at university or you already have things that you want to do most okay maybe it's not for this year so just let it on your list you know it's there and of course you're gonna be flexible so if at the middle of the year you're so interested about create your own brand again you can come back on this goal but that's just for you to be able to kind of set up a plan if you're just a dreamer you have a hundred tons of things you want to do but you don't know where to start that could be 
be easier for you to just follow the steps so you're gonna find actually what are your focuses of the year what are the things that are pulling you the most instead of maybe some others and you're just gonna choose a few goals for this year and then that's why the categories were important because for example if you have 10 languages you decided that you want to be fluent in in your life that's great but maybe you're not gonna put those 10 languages for this year especially if you're beginners in all of them that could be a bit harder so you're just gonna select maybe from out of these categories which are appealing you the most and just put them on then the second part of the template on your year goal you just put them copy paste them and then you have them set for okay those are going to be my main focuses on the year so how can i now be ready to actually take the first step to achieve them something that is super important also to take in account when you have this big list is how much time do you have because of course in your week depending if you're working at uni a student high school or whatever you are currently doing you're gonna have a different time slot than for other things so that's also super important for you to kind of be able to write down for I don't know in a week I can maybe have two hours for a hobby that I like that I can spread throughout the days or that I can actually maybe go to the gym three times a week for example and not more that's great you're just gonna write them down and so you have a clear idea and you're not gonna be setting yourself okay I need to train for one hour every single day of the week and turns out to be it's never gonna fit in your schedule so that's that's what is really important is to actually be honest with yourself about the time you have what you can give for each of your goal and not just to be like overwhelming with all the things because they absolutely do not fit in your year and that's why you also need to at a point make a decision about throughout all of these goals what are the one you're gonna focus the most on maybe some people will find a bit this step extra but I think it's super important if you used to a bit slit yourself for a lot of goals that you have and just be a bit lost in all of the things you want to do it's now you're gonna separate your years in four quarters so a quarter is gonna be three months you're gonna have January to March and so on and then maybe you're gonna be able to be like okay I want to work on those goals throughout the whole year but maybe for the first three months my main focus is mostly going to be on that if for example one of your goals was to be fluent in Spanish or to reach a conversational level or whatever and you know that you have a travel plan in June maybe your main focus then for the first quarter can actually be learning Spanish so you can be ready for this timeline but that will really depends on you but you can just be like okay for those first three months I'm really gonna try to go as far as I can in this particular goal because you're gonna be far more efficient if you have for example three main focuses and that you're gonna go until the very end okay I had a little problem with my camera but I think it's fine so if you're someone that just like a bit to be precise now and to reach something until the very end then maybe this is good for you otherwise if you're just someone that likes to work for five minutes on every single of the goals they have then it's hundred percent fine as well it really depends on you but now if you want to be a bit more organized and actually be able to reach all of your goals that you will have for your year maybe being a bit more precise about what are gonna be your main focuses can be a bit better and I'm also talking for myself because I have hundred tons of things I want to do and I happen to be very slow on doing most of the stuff because I was also very like split between a lot of other things I wanted to achieve so that's why maybe separating different the quarters what is the most important to you can be great and now the fifth and very last step of your goal setting is going to be write some actionable step what can you do tomorrow if you want to work on your goal for example if you just like okay now I have some time for for my hobbies or whatever sit down to your desk and you have as your goal I want to be fluent in Mandarin that's great but how can you actually start to work on that is it possible to be like okay now I'm gonna be working on being a fluent in Mandarin you need some actionable steps something you can start tomorrow to be like okay to reach my goal I should be starting by doing that that could be okay I know that now I need to learn the one top 1000 words or oh, I want to write a book okay so now I know that I need to set up all the characters okay so that's going to be my actionable step it's not gonna be read a whole book because that's gonna be maybe a bit hard and if it's too big it's gonna be also a bit less motivating to actually start working on them so now you're gonna be focusing on your first quarter so January to March 
and for your goal you're gonna write like actionable step what you need to do for achieving all of them so that could be like little steps that will just help you get through learning I don't know some verbs to write that or to have an idea of the lyrics for a song you want to create or an idea for a brand whatever you like but you're just gonna write those actionable steps so on the 1st of January or whenever when you want to start working on them you can actually start doing things that matters to you and actually take a little step in the direction of your goal. So this is all I wanted to talk with you in this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and you will have all the notion templates that can actually maybe help you a bit more to be organized through what you actually want to do and how to take those little steps. I wish you all the best for 2024 and for those last day of 2023 depending on when I'm posting this video as well. And don't hesitate to tell me down below if you have any other questions about goal settings or the notion templates. Thanks for watching until the end of this video and see you in the next one.